Jesse, I called you all over here because I wanted to talk about what happened the other day with the charity event. I want to hear from them how they feel about Nikki and her charity event. Maybe I can find some type of information that I'm looking for because I'm still at loss. When Nikki brought up the charity thing, I was feeling the charity. But I'm going to tell you where it got sour with me at. This is a brownstone reunion, which I had heard over and over before. We're going to sing a couple of songs when realistically, this is the first time that the world will be seeing you back together. <sighs> Let me invite you to a charity and you tell me no. In, in front, front of, of everybody. everybody. Brownstone reunion tour, a wildflower charity, a makeover. <sighs> what in the world is going on? I almost feel like everybody's like scared of Nikki and why? The charity piece didn't surprise me as much because she had spoken with me about it. Mm -hmm. Like I talk, she bounces ideas off of me or whatever. Mm -hmm. okay. So like the brownstone thing like reunion is more of a surprise to me oh, than anything. Okay, okay. okay. And that's a great, that's great. I that's think that's great. great. That's, that's your, that's your thing. And see, that's the thing. She never came to me with the charity. That's not what she said. She, she did? No, she never came to me on that. She told oh. me Oh, we're, I'm going to do a reunion with Brownstone. I was cool with that. I said, okay. I just think it was a manipulative way of trying to do the one thing she was incapable of doing. And that was getting all the girls to perform. Tasha and Angie feel like something fishy's going on. Like it wasn't a genuine thing, her asking us to come in and do this charity event. If you're not comfortable, don't do it. That's it. It's real simple. Again, simplicity. The key to life. But here's where it got cranky for me. My dream was I, to have us all divas mm -hmm. do our own thing and us performing in our own right because after all, this is this was the whole purpose of divas getting together. Not as a throw in. I'm starting to feel like now this is a tug and war. It's affecting us all. I don't think things were done genuinely. I just don't. Now whether we all go through it and we Donate, that's an individual preference. Right, right, right. right. But I don't think it's, it's nothing mandatory. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Well, another thing, I think the the, the beautiful way to bow out gracefully is as divas, I don't think we should rain on Brownstone for Ray. We should let them have that moment. It is really about Brownstone it ain't my, and know, the reunion. So I think uh, a donation <laughs> would be great because it's not about anything other than us supporting Nikki. Well, I feel like I'm swallowing a bunch of bull. We need to have a heart to heart, Nikki. For real, because I need to talk to you about some stuff that I'm not happy with and I know the other girls ain't happy with. So Angie, are you going? Are you going to be a part I of it? I am having mixed emotions about doing it. And there was a borderline manipulation thing going on for me. Okay. And I, you know, I need to talk to Nikki one on one first and foremost. Coming up, I'm quite offended. And the truth of the matter is, why well, I looked up your charity? See, now you're getting hold defensive. Hold on, hold on, no, I'm, I'm getting I'm offended defensive because I'm offended. I kind of want to snatch the chair out from under her big ass. Now I'm pissed off. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Angie, ah. I'm going to steam you heavy, girl. You so skinny. Come on, on up there. Welcome, welcome, baby. You look beautiful. Yeah. I came over here to talk to you about some serious stuff. Oh, Lord, I might need to go pull some chairs out of my office. Sit right here. Let me get some chairs. I'm not the only one feeling like there is an agenda with the charity. I think it's time for somebody to come clean. And be real honest in a sisterhood kind of way, but just kind of keep it 100 with Nikki. First, I just want to say that I won't be to the event. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. I will not be coming because I felt like you lied to me. You felt like I lied to you? I felt like you lied to me. I tried to look up the charity. I couldn't find it online. It's not established. Huh? The organization is not established. But I think that's something that you should have told everybody because my thing is this. If I'm going to donate money to anything No, we're any not taking cause, donations. Yeah, but we, we said we were giving donations that night. <gasps> yes, we said we were giving donations. One thing I am going to say 
as an R&B diva, I'm putting $100 in the pot because it's a foundation. Isn't it a foundation? Yes, but I mean... And it's a charity. Yes. My daughter wanted to do something special. No. Yeah, if you look up divasandwildflowers.org, at this it. moment, oh, which I, I only don't make, make it clear to everybody at the meeting. One thing I don't play with, my family and my business. And she came in disrespecting both. So I kind of want to snatch the chair out from under her big ass. I'm quite offended that you would even say something. Well, I looked up your charity. So now you're getting Hold defensive. on, hold on. No, I am not because I'm offended. Defensive. Because I'm offended. But guess what? Yeah. Number one, I wasn't supposed I to be here. I canceled I doing my play to, play to be here for that. your event. When I found out that it wasn't an existing charity, and then all of Why a sudden, you pick up the phone wait a minute, because you didn't pick up the phone and tell me. Now I'm a little pissed. Because I'm still feeling like the charity is a gateway to what the real issue is, and that is a tour. Hmm. This is a reunion moment for Brownstone, and at yeah, the end we're of that day... we're Grapevine and If You Love Me, honey. This ain't no reunion okay. show. I heard through the Grapevine there was some agents or somebody was going to be there to look out for a tour. There ain't no <laughs> agents going to be there, so wherever you found that out, it's some The people who produce uh, Meet the Browns, he is a one of the biggest promoters in the business. He's in, you know, this is an opportunity for people to see us up close and personal. If it's something that's really auditioning a tour, trying to get somebody to check something for something else, then give me my props and come to me, woman to woman, just like I'm coming to you. Hey, Dan, I'm trying to do this. I need your support. Why? Because we haven't been out in a long time. I mean, you got to remember. Oh, wait, you think, so you think that Brownstone needs you? Michael Jackson thought we was good enough to sing by the three of us, so the three of us can sing without the assistance of Inti Bati else. Okay. I don't think nobody needs me. So, so that's, in the, that's the first thing. No, you I'm made, not thinking, you made that clear. I'm talking about, because I'm talking I think, about the charity, Angie. No, you're talking, talking about Brownstone right now. I, but I, what no, I'm, but you took the charity and made it about Brownstone. Because, you let it rest on the shoulders of everyone that you're doing a reunion tour for Brownstone. You take your foot out your mouth and realize that what you're saying don't make no kind of sense. You know what, Nikki? It doesn't matter. You know what, Nikki? You Thank can you. take your foot, Appreciate your face, you. your whole head out your butt right now because at the end of the day you're doing nothing different than what Selena and Salisha was doing. Oh, and so the you're here. You're the I Selena can, Power Ranger at this no, point. That's what I am is a realist. And the bottom line Real is you're to trying her. to do what they were trying to do only yours is squeaky clean because it has a charity. Now I'm pissed off. And that's well, all I got to say. And I'm real disappointed Guess that what? you would even step to me. I feel you like did. I'm going to you. Did. I, and, and you it ain't, no lie. Right it ain't now, no lie. It ain't no lie. Well, good then. So okay. we've established so that. We have established nothing. I'm offended because we've established that you day, pissed me off talking about what the charity. Do about it. Nothing but just say thanks, appreciate you. See you later. The fact that Nick is getting so defensive about that is completely convincing me that I've hit the nail dead on the head. But I will not have all the years that I've worked for be tainted by someone who is acting like a spoiled brat that cannot handle a grown woman's conversation. I'm out. Thank you, Angie. Appreciate you. Wow. All right, burn some incense and some candle. I need a Bible and I need some prayer. Next on R&B Divas. I really want an answer about what to Atlanta. Is this something that we're going to do? We I absolutely happen? would not come to Atlanta. I mean, that's my final answer. You know, I'm your partner. I'm your girlfriend. <laughs> it's not just about the charity. It is also about me relaunching my music career. So if you had a problem with that, then kiss my ass. What? Lion bitch. Bring it down, Godzilla. Bring it down. I know you ain't talking SpongeBob. Now that I am at 1,000, I definitely got to get out of here. What you've done to these women is a sin, and there's a special place in hell for a bitch like you.